Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Zarina and I make videos about skincare, lifestyle and recently I've added some business videos. And this one specifically, specifically is for you guys that wants to start and wants to go into the lip gloss business. So this is things you definitely should know. So if you guys want to know the one-on-one, keep watching. Okay, so for those of you that doesn't know that I've been selling Versagel M750 for wholesale. And since I've been selling it, I've been getting a lot of questions. So I thought I will make a video here on YouTube. I've made a small clip on my Instagram, but I thought I'll make a video here on YouTube and hopefully it will get to a lot more people putting it on youtube okay what kind i'm gonna answer some of the questions i got okay someone asked me what brand my versa gel is first of all the versa gel that i get is imported from the united states from the chemical company yes the actual manufacturer that makes it that's how I get it and I get it from them and when I get it from them I get a copy of this it says the certificate of analysis and on this it says it even has let me just show you guys it has like a lot of information on them okay don't know if you guys can see it but I know exactly when um, the Versa gel that I'm selling to you guys, I know exactly when it was made and when it will expire. Very important. Oh, I want to sneeze. Oh, God. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, very important to note that I think a lot of you guys don't know that Versa gel M750 is a type of base that can be used Mostly for lip gloss or for lotion or for hair care products. So it can be used for lip gloss as a lip gloss base for skincare products or hair care products. That's why it's called Versagel M750. Now, if you guys do your research, you guys would know that you get different types of Versagel. That's why I always post M750 because that's the type of Versagel that you use for lip gloss base. Okay, it's very important fact to note. Because why um, I've actually spoken to a manufacturer in China, you know, all these um, lip gloss base that's been advertised on Alibaba and AliExpress. And I saw the consistency of the lip gloss base and I keep saying lip gloss base. I'm saying it for a reason because what they are selling, it's not Versagel. That's why they don't put Versagel m750 they don't put that they they only say lip gloss base it's totally different from versatile m750 that gets made in the united states it only gets made in the united states and in the uk nowhere else do they make versatile m750 okay so i can insert a clip for you guys if you guys want to see the consistency but i'm gonna see if i still had it because he actually sent me a video number two the expiry date. Versagel M750 has an expiration date of three years. It only lasts three years. So the Versagel I'm selling right now got made in 2019 in July. So in three years time, it will expire, okay? No, it's 2020 now. So in two years time, it has a two-year expiration, expiration date left. It's very important to know that when you buy Versagel M750, or you buy a lip gloss base to find out the expiration date because these um, bases that you guys are buying it has an expiration date and it's an important fact to note when it expires because you guys are going to be selling lip gloss to people 
and if anything happens or they get allergic reaction it's gonna be on you so you need to know these things when you buy it so that i think that answers the question of i've been asked what type what brand make it is and number two i've been asked the consistency so i get straight from the manufacturer and how it's made so that should pretty tell you much how the consistency is but i'll add a i'll add an i think i have another video where i show the lip gloss base but if i don't sorry if i don't have it anymore anyway another thing to note is when you buy versatile ensign 50 or your lip gloss base whatever it may be when you add oils to it you do shorten the life the shelf life the expiration date of that base or the end result of the lip gloss so i will try and explain it to you guys and put it up here so you guys can see what i'm trying to say but i'll say it to you guys and then you guys can see it better when i write it down so you can add whatever oils you want to to your base and make it to your consistency because i've been asked why is there no oils added in my base and i'm explaining to you why you can put whatever type of oils you want into it. it's all up to you guys make it unique make it your own okay but the perfect reason why i don't add oils is because if you have your lip gloss base or your versa gel whatever it is right and you add for example coconut oil to it coconut oil your versa gel your lip gloss base has an expiration date of three years your coconut oil has an expiration date of a year and your almond oil for example this is just an example and your almond oil has an expiration date which will only last though for six months so when you add all those things to your base your base will then only last as long as the six months not the one year not the three years will only last six months because of that um what did i say almond oil because the almond oil expire in six months time it will make your whole lip gloss will go bad so please note that if you buy bases from people that's already made Check or ask them what date does the product expire. And when you do buy your oils, check the expiration date when you mix it with your product. Okay. Um, another thing to note is your pigments. Now, um, We've come across people that have been, I'm not saying everyone, but there are few that have been using pigments that are not lip and eye safe. There's a difference between being skin safe and there's a difference between um, micas and pigments. Pigments only means colorants, okay? There's a difference between um, pigments that are used for bath bombs, for soap, liquid pigments, oil soluble pigments, water soluble pigments skin safe pigments and you get lip and eye safe pigments they are a variety of them they get used for different kind of products so make sure that you guys are buying one that's lip and eye safe it's very important okay and i'll add in a clip of one of the online stores i buy my pigments from so you guys can see um what i'm talking about okay so this is one of the online stores i buy my micas from um i will share you with you guys this online store as you guys can see i'm under colorant and there you can see that the micas they specifically say if they lip and eye safe and this is what i mean okay and those ones are these for first bombs so they exactly tell you what the specific mica is for and is it okay to use this is what you guys should find out when you buy mica or any pigments from people just make sure that it's lip and eye safe okay they have lots of different ones over here so i will
bushes. Another thing um, that you guys should note is the fact that when you add um, any type of peanut oil, when I say peanut oil, I mean like almond oil to your product because I know there's a lot of YouTubers, YouTubers out there that makes lip gloss paste that add jojoba oil, coconut oil, almond oil is one of those oils or apricot kernel oil. It's very important to note that there are people there with peanut allergies, meaning they have an allergy to any type of nuts. So if you're going to add almond oil to your base, you will actually, someone that's going to use, especially on their lips, they're going to get an allergic reaction. So if I were you guys, I would stay away from any kind of type of peanut oil. And another tip that I can give you guys is don't go for coconut oil because if you add coconut oil to your base, it's going to turn hard because coconut oil tends to turn hard, tends to turn into a solid when it's cold. Use fractionated coconut oil. Very important because fractionated coconut oil stays in liquid form. Okay. Um, yeah i think that's a lot of the that's a, like a bunch of the questions that i that i got and i can just review all of those again for you number one where i get my lip gloss base from is straight from the manufacturer that makes the base like companies like tkb buy from the manufacturer that makes the base tkb doesn't make the base they buy it from a manufacturer i buy straight from the manufacturer so when you ask me which brand it's my own brand then because I buy from the manufacturing company and I have a proof of the certificate of analysis and the manufacturing company which I bought it from when it was shipped to me. I have the batch date, the batch number of it. I have the expiry date of it when it was manufactured. So I know exactly when mine expires and it's very important for you guys to know when your base expires. Number two, there's a difference between lip gloss base that are sold on AliExpress and which I've come across when I've talked talk to the manufacturers that uh, make the lip gloss base. It's not even transparent, people. So it's lip gloss, so they call it lip gloss base. And like I said, you get different types of forms of Versagel. That's why I state mine is Versagel, Versagel Inks in 50, the exact same one that they use in America, especially TKB. So yeah, it's important to know what type of base you are buying, the expiry date of your base. So when I get asked the consistency of my base and I'm like, I understand why people ask that because they are wholesalers that add oils to their base, which makes the base actually more. So you're not buying lip gloss base anymore because a base is a product that you add to it. It's only a base, so you must add oils to it. You add your pigments to it, your flavorings to it okay unless you are buying a ready-made base that's something very different okay so i think i've said i mean the main points and then i talked about the expiration date when you add your own oils to it check the expiration date of your oils guys okay very important when you start making um skincare or any product that's going to go on a person's skin or even food i mean if you not to buy um and then you don't want to make burgers and you know your cheese is going to expire today and you still want to sell the same burger to people. So you need to know when your ingredients expire. Makes perfect sense. So I think I should have told you guys this because I was, I was like shocked to see the questions I've been getting about the Versagel and everything. Which I just thought... I think I should come to a bigger community and put it on YouTube and answer and answer those questions. Maybe there's some of you guys would like to know or maybe have thought, you know, because I don't know if any YouTuber has mentioned these to you. So I hope that you guys know that and make sure your micas are lip and eye safe when you buy them. Please be careful when you buy your micas because they are... A different price range for different micas that are used for soap, bath bombs, for skin products. Okay, some of them are much cheaper and some of them are more expensive for a reason. And um, 
Oh yeah, about the glitters. I see people have been using, some people have been using random glitter. Make sure you are using biodegradable glitter. Biodegradable glitter is the smallest type of glitter that you can get. And that, for me, is much safer on the lips and any other glitter. So if you guys have more questions, you can put it down in the comments. And I'll try to answer them for you as best as I can. Thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up to this video and do subscribe and check out my Instagram account, my new business Instagram account. And you guys, there's another video there where I made a live and answered some of those questions. So I just want you guys to be safe when you make these products because they are these are guys i'm going to be selling it to people and this is some things that you should know when you start a lip gloss business and branding it with your name on it thanks for watching